I would like to start my presentation by talking about the global chain of refrigerants in HVAC system from a SCI perspective under my special topic, Future Refrigerant and What's Next Refrigerant Focus for Heat Pumps. Here we go. When we talk about how the world HVAC refrigerant chain will change, following the amendment of the main regulation, you can see the graph behind me. It's obvious that the global chain of refrigerant will change. HFC will be completely prohibited from the market to help our world to reduce 80% of the CO2 emission by year 2030. We will have HFO refrigerant and natural refrigerant at the end of the line. As a consequence of the change, what should we consider? Here are what we thought. First, refrigerant equipment must be served and get maximum unit efficiency. As you may know well, that some future refrigerant are flammable and toxic. In part of the unit, it must comply with safety regulation to prevent any dangerous thing happens. Similar to previous slide, if we focus on new future refrigerant, we should be concerned about the climate change issue. We should use refrigerant with low GDP and refrain from using CFC and HGFC refrigerant. In short, if we look deeper in all parameters that I explained, we can help the world and deliver the unit with high efficiency and high reliability. By the pressure, refrigerant can be classified into three groups, low, medium, and high. Then, if we check the alternative refrigerant in each group, we could see that R290 is the more potential one for the low pressure group, whereas R454 series, refrigerant is the more potential for medium and high. To see the behavior of heating performance, Following EN14825 testing standard for bi to water in air condition, I study the bi to water system heat pump with 7 kW compressor together with the installation of electronic expansion valve and cloud flow best paid heat exchanger. I control factor in each type of refrigerant with suitable refrigerant quantity and optimize discharge superheat value control, which can achieve the bad heating efficiency of the condition and standard that I just mentioned earlier. Still degree Celsius blind inlet as the evaporator, whereas 30 degree Celsius water inlet and 35 degree Celsius water outlet as the condenser to get 7 kW heating side. As you can see in the gap behind me, this is the result of my study. To make you clear about that, let me give you an example. We can reduce 39% refrigerant quantity of R454B when compared with R410A, and it can maintain heating capacity at 7 kW with discharge superheat value at 35K. And what's about the other, name, other concerning point? Let me clarify them in the next slide. So, I study more about that in other compression ratio to see discharge temperature behavior. The conclusion is that it's not a big issue at all, even about the discharge temperature issue. To use other refrigerant like R290, R454B, even compressor overlay in the high compression zone for heat pump application, and no need special cooling equipment for safety matters such as liquid injection or economizer control. Therefore, with the refrigerant testing result, I found that R454A, R54B, and R290 could deliver the bad heating efficiency even better than R14A that we are using right now. It absolutely comply with the FGAP regulation world range that demand industry to use HFO refrigerant or natural refrigerant within year 2025. This turned attention of Mitsubishi Electric Group to put effort on the increase of stored volume capacity and to cover load valiant in any conversion ratio of heat pump application. We need to focus on motor assessment also. Referring to the current slide, a good example at this, to use a 14 a with 52cc stove compressor, and if you want to change to use a 454 b the compressor stove will be reduced to 36cc. But don't worry about the compressor side, because the side is still the same as the one that you have seen in you. You can put it in, in your unit. Thank you for your attention. If you have a comment or a question, please feel free to drop in the question box. 
If you are interested in our product portfolio, contact our sales representative for further information. Thank you for being with me. Have a good day.